Hey guys, it's your boy Embrobs back again with another video. As you guys can see by the thumbnail and the title of the video, meet Fatu Jugadabo, who is a mechanical, electrical, and also the co founder of Make 3D, which is the first and only 3D printing company in the Gambia, which is located at Brufoot at the Madiba Ball. Make 3D deals with general manufacturing of 3D printed keychains, 3D printed pens, prosthetic legs, 3D printed building and her target market is education health and general manufacturing and today she's going to share with us her story about her success achievements and challenges so without further ado let's get into this video hello everyone i am fatty jukadabo i am the director and co-founder of make 3d company limited the first and only 3d printing company in the gambia Okay, this is a question that comes so often, so I guess it's the same story over and over again. <laughs> uh, so basically, I went to school for mechanical engineering and I have always been interested in machines. And with 3D printing, I just wanted to explore to see what I can do for myself. Um, first, it was about providing solutions for myself and later I found out that I could provide so many other solutions for others. And this is why I ventured into 3D printing technology together with my partner Sylvester Tikach and we started the company. Okay, the Gambia is a country that has a lot of potential and 3D printing technology is one that is growing globally and I thought the Gambia should not be left behind in this amazing technology and industry and since Gambia is a country that also depends a lot on um, importation and lack of and the Gambia does not have um, a lot of manufacturing capacity I thought 3D printing is a technology that should really work here and so far so good it is actually working You tell me, is it lucrative? <laughs> I mean, every business has its ups and downs, but once you understand your market and your target and what you are doing, you are able to sell your products. I would say yes, because again, it's a technology that Gambians don't know about. And since we brought it in, we have found various ways to use it basically in healthcare, in education and in general manufacturing. And in general manufacturing when we say that we mean we have been tapping into different types of businesses in Gambia, being in cosmetics, in um, local manufacturing, tailoring, um, liberals making and all those things. So in general manufacturing I can say it has really enhanced business because it has made certain businesses more efficient faster and easier to produce their goods. So yes, 3D printing has really enhanced other local businesses. In the Gambia, I would say contextualizing to fit local needs because as much as you need something that has to do with 3D printing, you cannot just print any random things. You have to look for ideas that actually work for you, things that you need that 3D printing can actually do. So basically, one of the main um, benefits is being able to contextualize things based on the needs of Gambians and also being able to manufacture and shorten the logistic chains um, let's say if you're ordering a prosthetic leg from outside the Gambia, you can have it manufactured here in the Gambia for lesser time and um, it will not take ages for it to arrive from wherever you're ordering it from. And if you want to customize it based on the person's needs, you can do the customization here in the Gambia without having to order it from abroad. Sometimes it will come, it will not fit, sometimes it will be big, sometimes it will be small. But with 3D printing, you can do it here in-house and with the people. Um, step by step until you develop a perfect product so being able to customize contextualize and also shut in the logistic chains when it comes to supply and demand in the gambia like any other business you will have challenges 3d printing is not unique to that and some of the challenges that we have faced from the beginning have been having the right workforce but um, thankfully we have uh, an amazing group of young people that even though before 3D printing, before make 3D, they did not have any experience in 3D printing. They had backgrounds in other fields that are relevant to 3D printing technology and they were able to learn on the job and be able to provide their services together with us. So um, 
having the right workforce was a challenge which we were able to mitigate. Another challenge is electricity. Obviously, 3D printing definitely needs um, electricity and sustainable electricity to be able to work, continuous electricity, basically. Constant electricity, that's the word that I wanted to use. You need constant electricity to 3D um, print and use these machines. And in Gambia, we know how the electricity supply can be sometimes with Navek and uh, <laughs> yeah, we know how 3D print, how um, the supply of electricity can be in the Gambia, but also there's something that you can easily solve with our popular mobile solar 3D printing station, which we happily call Power Kunda now. So we can develop these and use them. So with every challenge, you have to look for a solution and that's what we are here for. One sec guys, if you appreciate videos like this, please kindly subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Let's get back into this. Let's get back to the video. In the next years, I want to see every community in Gambia having a 3D printer. I want to see a lot of um, Gambians using 3D printing as a technology that can support them to enhance their day-to-day -day lives. So as the global industry for 3D printing technology is growing, I want Gambia to be part of this journey. So I see 3D printing actually growing. Yeah, I have worked with various organizations and some of our partners include um, ITC through the Youth Empowerment Project, UNDP, Accelerator Labs, um, MRC Unit the Gambia at London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. These were our first partners. And we are working with different other organizations, And but these are our main partners so far. These are the partners that we are constantly working with to find ways of improving, improving lives using creative technology. I would say go for it. It's an amazing technology. It can solve so many problems and the market is huge. So you can always find things that you want to do using 3D printing and you can also always, always um, find a way out using 3D printing technology. So go for it. It might not be easy at the beginning, but once you figure out what you want to do, you can go. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. That was a very great and inspiring story from Fatu Jugadabo the first lady that started up a 3d printing company in the gambia so if you guys have any opinion you could put that in the comment section below i really really appreciate that and if you guys want to make more inquiries about 3d printing or about make 3d you could go down to the description below the links is going to be there the link of the website and all the social media platform make inquiries or if you want to enhance your business with 3d printing you could go down there to the description and make inquiries and yeah if you guys are new to the channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and see you on my next video